Eh? I represent Anambra Central Senatorial District. Mr. President, I rise to contribute to this discussion uh, on the motion raised by Senator Suleiman Adokwe. Mr. President, I think we've come to a time we should tell ourselves the truth. Every time people are killed, we inform the Senate. Every time people are killed, we inform the Senate. Like Senator Manager said, between 8th and the 12th of February, this Senate had a National Security Summit. A lot were revealed at that summit. We have not come out with anything as our findings from that summit. In fact, shortly after the, the summit, the killings in Zamfara took place. Many people were killed, about 39 persons, followed by the killings in Kogi, about 32 persons, and um, we condemned this orgy of killings in this chamber. I remember that I contributed in that debate and queried the competence of people that were given these responsibilities to discharge on behalf of Nigerians protection of lives and properties. Some moves were made. People were drafted to Taba and Benue. Some movements were made and we thought things would start to happen. But these killings have continued in those uh, places. Mr. President, I think the problem is that we are not telling ourselves the truth. Senator Kabiru Marafa wanted to talk about uh, tribal and religious sentiments over this issue. I think that is misplaced because when we are condemning the killings in Zamfara, in the northeast, in Benue, in Kogi, and so on and so forth, I don't come from those areas of Nigeria. But we stood up here and condemned that. I think the problem is the discriminatory attitude of the security agencies in dealing with this problem. The IG of police ordered this arming of vigilante people and uh, a ban on um, people carrying some arms. In fact, he ordered the withdrawal of illegal arms in the possession of Nigerians. When he made that order in this chamber, I spoke about upstaging the security arrangements in peaceful parts of Nigeria where these challenges were not prevalent. But Mr. President, you will be surprised to note that that implementation of withdrawal of arms were carried out in the southeast and it wasn't carried out in the troubled spots in Nigeria. These arms were displayed on television uh, recovered in Anambra, Enugu State, and some states in the southeast. I was waiting to see those people carrying illegal AK 47s that have been killing people in Taraba, in Benue, in Zamfara, in the strong places, in the Plateau. Nothing was displayed that recovered. And these AK 47s have continued to be used to kill Nigerians every day. Why can't they withdraw this AK 47s in the position of whoever, whether it is a headsman or whoever called? Because when we talk about headsmen, people say they are Fulanese, that is a tribal team. It cannot be. If you are dealing with security challenges, you don't apply different measures. Mr. President, let me draw your attention to what happened this last weekend in Abuja. Abuja was shut down by people that invaded the city from some parts of the country. We were to be involved in the joint committee workshop meeting at PTDF's headquarters here. We couldn't assess that place. I was trapped between Sheraton and Yeradua Center. For hours, my vehicle couldn't go back and couldn't go forward. People were littered everywhere, over two million people. Mr. President, I want to ask 
the security agents were not aware, were they not aware that these people will be invading Abuja? Where they were not stopped on the ways of entering the city? Officer Pei, are you telling me that if IPOB, for example, or Masop, we are known to be coming to invade Abuja, that they will cross uh, uh, Wawalada? They can't enter here. This city will be protected. This thing is not good for Nigeria. If we want to deal with our problems, we cannot treat any group as untouchables, no matter what they do. I believe that the problem is that the people doing this thing are being treated as untouchables, no matter the names they call them. And they continue to kill people. I remember with nostalgia when the IPOB people were branded the terrorists, people who were not killing anybody. Government quickly moved on and branded them terrorists and went ahead to go to the court to get them proscribed. Why have government not taken equal measure on the issue of these headsmen killing people everywhere? That is the problem Nigeria has. They want somebody to say it. Please, Mr. President, I think the security chiefs should apply equal measure in dealing with this problem. Any place we have killings, they should move there and apprehend the people and disarm them and recover these AK-47s that they use to kill people. If they cannot do it, it means that they are being encouraged to continue the killings. Many Nigerians have been frustrated, even elder statesmen, speaking the language they ought not to speak, that people should defend themselves. Is that our mantra, that people should defend themselves? The security language is that the security people should defend the people. There are people who are authorized to carry arms and they are trained for that. Their microphone. They cannot tell us that they have been overpowered, that these people cannot be uh, reined in. So if you treat them with kid gloves, um, and treat others with a heavy hand, this thing will continue. So anybody who's giving it a coloration of a tribal religious thing is misfiring. It's, it shouldn't arise in this chamber because we know where the problems are coming from. Let the security agencies help Nigeria. There's nobody in this chamber who can solve this problem because we are not directing any arms of the security agencies into action. We just condemn these things and finish, and the thing will continue. The microphone. Hussaini said, like I also said previously, people should be held accountable for the actions. There are people who should do this until they dismiss things in various parts of Nigeria. We will not believe that the security agencies are serious. They should do that for this. Microphone. If they don't do it for it to stop, it will not stop. So those who gathered here last weekend, between Friday, Saturday, Sunday, until yesterday, when they confronted the security agencies, many people's vehicles were destroyed. This morning, they all left Abuja. Nobody was arrested. This thing cannot continue, Mr. President.